that's why sometimes I will tell you, when they say Dr. Damina is talking against the fathers, who are the fathers? Who are, am I a boy? Huh? I'm a father of many of the people they call fathers. I should actually be a grandfather. What are you talking about? Some of the practices they are wallowing in, we, we've introduced it. <laughs> it, honey, I, I, I don't know if I've told you this before. It will shock you to know that Koboko service started in this church. Koboko service, it was in Power City, Power Chapel. It started in Power Chapel. Not Power City, Power Chapel. Mama and I were out of the country. So I invited a friend of mine. Pastor Ada, you remember? Pastor Ada will remember very well. I, I invited a friend of mine to come and preach in this church. After the service, they, they called us and said the service was hot. I said, what happened in the service? He said, Papa, <laughs> we're waiting for tomorrow. We can't wait for tomorrow. I said, what happened? He said, the man of God, I don't want to call his name. He said, the man of God in, asked us to come with Koboko. At that time, there has been no Koboko service anywhere. The man of God asked us to come with Koboko. For what? He said, he said we should flog Satan. <laughs> that day, they flog and flog. The whole church was, Koboko was everywhere. Sticks everywhere. People flog. It was in this church. It started then small time. We started hearing Koboko services everywhere. We, we started it here. I was one of the first persons who introduced anointing oil in Assemblies of God, Nigeria. Assemblies of God, Nigeria. The first day I brought the bottle into Assemblies of God to anoint people, they locked me inside the church that I will not go out till I tell them what is inside that bottle. And one of the elders was in this church some months ago. He sat here. Dr. Gabe, you brought him. He was one of the elders. He reminded me that day in my office. He said, do you remember the first time you brought olive oil into our church? And he's one of the ambassadors of Assemblies of God, Nigeria. He said, do you remember that the first time you brought the oil into Assemblies of God and you anointed people, you were locked in the church. We were asking you to explain what is in the oil because it was, nobody does that. Now it's all over Assemblies of God. He said, I'm talking, who are the fathers? We are not just fathers, we are inventors. Even though we invented nonsense. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm not say Baba. Say Baba is there. <laughs> because it takes authority to be able to correct things publicly. It's not just knowledge. There's an authority that ought to accompany the knowledge. The CV that should be behind the person bringing the correction. It takes authority. That's why Peter put his CV now. He said, all of you here that are talking, it's by my mouth you all got saved. The same mouth that got you saved, got these people saved. What's the problem? Authority. Am I communicating? 